Next Tuesday, Macon Bibb voters will have a historical decision to make. Who's going to serve as the first mayor of the new consolidated government? A man who previously led the city of Macon for eight years is hoping it'll be him. Joining me now to talk about his campaign is Mr. C. Jack Ellis. Mr. Ellis, we thank you so much for coming on today. Well, thank you for having me. Good to be with you. Absolutely. Let's start by talking about this runoff. You're in the same boat as you were in 2011. Were you expecting this outcome? Well, we expected to be in the runoff, yes. Uh, we didn't know exactly what the percentage would be, but we felt with the six-person race that it would be probably impossible for anyone to win on the first ballot. So we got in the runoff. We thank God. We thank the people who went out and voted before and encouraged them to go vote again because there's a lot of misinformation as to who can vote this time. If you voted before, you can vote again. You have to vote again. If you didn't vote before, you can vote again. Our, hey, you got you a lot of vote. information exactly. in there in the first exactly. couple of seconds there. All right, um, moving on to a little bit of quote-unquote controversy. Recently, there was an article in The Telegraph by columnist Eric Erickson accusing you of burning bridges rather than creating them when you well, were in that's office. Not what, that's not what he accused me of. His headline was, I scare all, all white people should be afraid, well, which is nothing. You know, that's race-baiting. I, 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 I disavow it. I ask, call upon the mayor to disavow that type right. of thing. Our community is divided enough as it is. We ought to be doing what we can to bring our community together. So I've said all I have to say about that. What we want to do is look forward with hope and not to and not backwards with bitterness. So we're looking forward to making, bringing this community together, bringing jobs here, uh, rescuing our children. By that I mean giving our children an opportunity to succeed, getting our children educated and bringing jobs to our community so we can lift people out of poverty. How do you want to prove those critics wrong? What plans do you have to bring the community together specifically? Well, well, I did before. Look at my record before. I, just, I established a diversity committee where I reached out to all segments of this community, all races, all creeds, all color, all genders, bringing them together and say, let's understand each other. Let's have reconciliation. Let's have dialogue. Let's have a racial dialogue. I had about three or four uh, uh, racial symposium, if, if you will, uh, race relations symposium, where we started this dialogue, and hopefully we will continue it, uh, continue the dialogue because we still have work to do in that area. But what we have to realize is that we are all, so goes South Macon, so goes North Macon. Uh, we can't have the one one section of our community doing well and the other section doing doing poorly that mean that what that means is that we all will ultimately wind up doing poorly so we all have to put together to make this a better place to live and what would you different do do differently this time around if elected what what were maybe something you regret from the past or want to change well not necessarily any regrets uh, what we want to do is always look to get better we always look into how we can be a better person how we can have a better city how we can keep hope alive so we are talking about hope growth and opportunity that's what we focus on we try to let the other people the critics and all those people deal with the negative stuff and we want to be positive we want to stay positive for our children we want to stay positive for the future of the city and that's what it's about it's about the future one city one future we're all in this together mr ellis thank you so much for your thoughts and we'll see what happens on tuesday and i'm wearing my purple because of domestic violence <laughs> month, and i want to encourage everyone to stop participating in domestic violence good message all around no matter yes. who wins the mayoral exactly. race exactly all right thank you so much mr ellis and remember early voting is going on every day through friday again the runoff election is next tuesday october 15th if you live in districts two four six or eight you also have to decide on your next commissioner and just remember folks no matter who you vote for it is so important to just get out there and exercise that right